Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live action from the Saudi Pro League. How do you see the match going, Stuart? Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, it's the basic 4-4-2 formation, but played well, it can be really effective. And key to its success are the wide midfield players. They have to be fit, they need to be able to run with the ball, and they need to double up with their fullbacks. It's a really tough role for them. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. And the match begins. Oh, a nice looking pass. A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Now back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Isham Fike. An incisive pass. And he's apparently veered into an offside position, Stuart. Well, that's tight, really tight. But he was just too anxious to make his run. He was in, though. Niakate. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Could be dangerous. Can he put it away? And the keeper flings himself at the ball. And over comes the corner. Well, it's off target. They were watching him like a hawk. Oh, 
there to intercept. Sleety. Oh, lovely ball. A glorious chance. Ball is loose. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Well, that save has kept them in this game. They now need to create one or two chances of their own. Well, the visitors very much dictating the tempo over the last 15 minutes or so, and their passing patterns have created numerous chances. They surely must extend their lead soon. Can he convert? And hunting for his second goal tonight, however. Well, you're absolutely right. He's been on great form today. That was another good effort. Short corner taken. Yusufu Niakate. Oh, good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted. But he's gone short with it. He got nothing but ball. He's conceded the corner. And over it comes. And the opportunity was there. Yeah, it's a well-worked corner and he makes decent contact. Just lacking that bit of accuracy. And Rossi on the ball. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. And it's a quality pass. Only failed to get it away properly. Could be a chance to break here. Bad challenge. And now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Well, he's gone into... Well, he was late and he deserved a booking for that. <laughs> Azazi. al Kuwai Kibi. Well, that effort was always going wide. He's not going to be best pleased with himself. Rossi. Martin Boyle. Well, possibilities in the centre. Boyle. Patient build-up at the moment. And there's the feed into the box. 
And the electronic board lets the fans know. Three minutes of stoppage time. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Boyle. Could be troublesome. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, he's been the difference between the two sides, and not just because of his goal, but his general play has been really good. Maybe he could have been a bit more clinical in front of goal if I was being picky, but I wouldn't be surprised if he gets another in the second half. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. That's a well-struck pass. Isham Faik. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. And the decision offside here. Azazi, Niakate, Amin Younes, now Naeem Sleety. Promising possession this. Shot attempted, no way through. Space and time for the cross. Oh, good vision. And danger still. Well, no damage done. Well, that save just about keeps them in this, but they have to pose more of a threat at the other end. Now the pass not finding its target. A danger here as he runs at them. And after the cross, defensive action called for. And up for grabs off the keeper. Well, that's the end of that for now. Boyle. Good movement. It's with Rossi. And options in the centre. Well played in from the flag, but not to any great effect. I mean, Younes. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And cuts inside. Can he put it away? And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two-goal lead now. Well, here it is again, and you have to say the one-two completely opens up the defensive structure. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, a second goal for them here. It's with Rossi. Boyle. Good strength to keep the ball. Teammates in the middle. Well, far from the ideal header. And the goalkeeper had it all the way. Hazazi. And room now out on the flank. Surely! 
But I'll tell you what, that didn't miss by much. Substitution time as is here. Fike, Rossi. Well, possibilities inside the box. And the danger is averted. Oh, great defending. Mohamed al Kibi. And the ball with Younes here. And well, he was in the right place to intercept. Determined defending. Now potential danger. And they could do damage. Oh, that's a fine save. They favoured a short one here. A really effective shielding under pressure. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball, and then just a few mistakes at the back, and it's cost them. Poor performance all round. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game, and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today.